next to Olympia? No one. <laughs> Got a pancake in my mouth. What is up? YouTube. Welcome to Travel Vlog for the first time in a while and the last time until the Olympia. We're headed to Nashville, Tennessee. Grand opening of one of our friends' gym, Carbon Culture. Gonna be doing a Q&A, me, Matt, and Dom. Talking to, a, I don't know how many people, like a thousand people are coming. We got a custom signature pre-workout coming. The Smashville flavor, which is like their Nashville lemonade or something like that. I'm still half asleep. I did cardio at like 6 a.m. which I never do in the pitch black and it was weird. But I'm getting my pancakes in. We're all packed up. Got meals ready to go. They've got food ready for me there too. I think I gotta say getting shredded and say I'm prep. Um, that's all that's going on though. I gotta eat these pancakes and get to the airport. So see you guys there. <laughs> Cardio six weeks out. How long? Yeah. Like eight weeks. You've already been doing it for eight weeks? Yeah, what do you mean? I, I don't know. I'm just wondering. Did you just wake up at noon and roll in the office? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I'm up at like 7.30. Are you? Get my burn on. That shit works. 45 minutes of cardio. You sweat like a pig on it? Yeah. Well, I'm outside. I do my cardio in the garage. Oh, yeah. That's a lot really of shit. Yeah. Yeah. My neck's a little sore. A little longer than the bed, but... No complaints for me because there's a bed on the plane. So, shout out to Brett for getting into the plane. I'm sure the hell I am my plane, but this is a very spoiled microwave. way of flying. What? It was a microwave. It was a microwave? It was a quick flight, didn't need it. I'll eat when we land, but I have my pancakes. Free flight pancakes. I always gotta have those. So. There's no better way of traveling than this, so I'll try not to get too spoiled because I can't get used to it. Welcome to Nashville, motherfuckers. I already ordered the Uber though, it's not in If you gotta go pee, go pee. I'll grab your shirt. Look at that thing. 90s probably. Can't wait to get mine back. Probably gonna be like six months though. I'm still half asleep. Spilling shit everywhere. Tom said we need to get one of these coffee makers for the office. I do know what that's. I agree. Even a 50-50 decaf in regular coffee so I don't have to get too much caffeine in me. The dream. What's up, dude? What's up? How's it going? Yeah. Good. A little tired. Uh, Vegas this morning. Did you just get off the plane? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah, we did all the glass photographs. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, more of them. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. It's got to be new. Yeah, it's the one for Captain Carmen. Yeah, pretty good. Let's let's do a round of tasting before they eat. If he's got shit right. Yep. And if he doesn't, I'll put your food in EAA grape. There you go, Dom. What is this? Grape EAA. Fuck yeah. I think that's good. I like grape juice. What form was it? It's good. It's like grape juice. Yeah. Seabone EA. The Canada, Canada one? Uh, Shan, how much bitter mask do you have in that? I have a couple different. I have a mean one and a regular bitter one. No, that's, I, think I, think awesome. I think you have too much. That's what Is I that was that doing. The EAs of BCAs the are coming the, out. The raw? Yeah. Like in the middle, I can taste the bitter mask. Yeah. So. I'm trying to just slow down. That's, me? that's red slush that you are having. Yeah. Is this the same one you sent us that I haven't tried yet? Should be. Uh, this he, is literally he, red he, slush though. He gave me the lowest I can. I like it. It's like it's, yeah, it's, it's 324 hour each to give you. Hydro. That's the same. You have a hydro. I mean, pre extreme is the exact equivalent of that fucked up stuff. 
That's the move. Make it sodium. That's the move. Sodium and potassium. Call it bum juice. Bum juice. <laughs> It'll sell. It'll sell. We'll be in every pre workout in America. Of what actually gets yeah. sold. I told them I wanted to make a bum juice flavored pre workout. No one went for it. I think we could do it. It would go viral for sure. People would love it. Yeah. Maybe on like a. Do an exclusive. Yes. Sorry. Is this Blue Rats? BAA? Yes, sir. J Dub, that's. That, that's your new one right there. Oh, this one? Yes, Perfect. sir. What flavor is it? Blue Red Blue Rats. Blue Rats? Did you get like the Red Slash last time? The last one? Yeah. yeah. I don't really like it. You like the current though, right? Kind, kind of. I think that red slush is like a slushy machine, like for real, for real. Really? Yeah. Or like a snow cone. Maybe a snow, hold on. Blue Raz, revision three, Ace K, to cover that back end. I don't know what happened, but that works. I like it. Okay, get it. I'm not a Blue Raz guy. You covered up the, uh... I just don't love the Blue Raz in it. Did you like bring up the, it's like... Something else is like stronger in the front. Yeah, it's covered in the back end, but it's like different in the front. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? I brought the flavor just a little more. I think it tastes good. Like it's, got, it's got a good aftertaste now, though. EAs are so hard, man. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They're so Well, dude, this one's. You got over 10 grams of, e of aminos in there. White Monster. This yeah, is really good. Kind of, kind of new. Play Can I have a little more of that one? That hydrate? Yeah. Just coconut water, right? Uh, uh, there's not. They're looking not? like a set. No. It has the texture of when we yeah. put um, it protein. in. Yeah, protein. Exactly. Should I get a. Uh, TV is sweet in one of these at some point, especially yeah, for think, hydrate. Well, whatever sure. the best hydrate we have that you think we can do a stevia based hydration. Okay, uh, that, I can pull that off. Yeah. Is there any sugar in it? This one, hydration. No. Because I know it's He's, like, dude, like, because like people that, that, like don't care about one or two grams of sugar. Yeah. It goes a long way in the flavors, and then use some stevia too. It's all natural. It tastes way better. Yeah. Because you don't taste the stevia at all. It's like grape candy. Grape, what do you want to call it? Can I get a little bit more of that one? All these yeah. are so refreshing. That's kind of the good thing is that you don't want these too sour. What's that? What was that last one? They, they're like that's weird about high potassium. Really I like good. that a lot. Yeah, it's like a certain yeah. potassium for sure. yeah, 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 yeah. one of the best. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I never saw it. Oh, you never came? Oh, no. you weren't here. This looks so much better. I did. Yeah. All right, so we are here. This is the new Carbon Culture Gym. It used to be Nashville Athletic Club. I, that's definitely not what it was called. Something else. Popular gym. Matt Jansen actually used to train here, and it looked completely different. There's a picture of the front of what it used to look like, and it's completely black, clean, new equipment now. Looks beautiful. Got this like, little leg area here. So. We're here kind of testing it out, I guess you could say, before the grand opening on Saturday. But our event is tomorrow, Friday night, where everyone's going to come in, line up along the kind of downstairs part. We're going to sit up here, do our little Q&A and all that fun stuff. So, I mean, we're going to try and get a workout in now. Long day of travel and everything, but it's hamstring day. Bust out some hamstrings. If I had to squat today, I'd be dying. But I'm going to hit the hamstrings, maybe a little bit of back at the end if I feel up to it. And, yeah, just get to it because... Gotta get juicy, hammy, friends. I didn't even notice it until I pressed into the box. See you, Jordan. Thank you. The whole problem with this week now, though, is.
My back's a little tight from that airplane ride. My bed wasn't big enough in the back, but at least I can work out. But today, that was the first time I got off a flight and felt rejuvenated. I never slept on a plane like that. Hashtag spoiled. ghetto today. Toughening up our backs. 
No pads on the machines. Oh my, raise no bitch. What, 4 a.m. cardio tomorrow, you and I? We can walk and talk about ingredients and fucking mice. <laughs> you didn't even know about it. Probably like earlier. Oh. It's gonna be like walking cardio over ingredient prices. Yeah. John, what's the price of Lucy? Isolucy. Failing. Trying to get shredded glutes. Shredded glutes spread. Copy right. Copy right. Copy copy right. You don't see these donkey calf raises around too often. Unless you have a bro sitting on your back. I don't want no bros riding me. Not today. Okay. That's us? Yep. Trying to end my hamstring workout with quads and a little bit of back width, like pull ups, pull downs, stuff like that. So now that I'm a little bit lighter, I can actually do like 10 pull ups, which is nice. I feel light. So we're gonna wrap up this workout with some of that. Some calves, so I don't have skinny boy calves. Time to not be a skinny bitch. And then go home. Well, they're gonna go have dinner, and I'm gonna sit there with my Tupperware and eat my meals. Breakfast. Always gotta be prepared. Delicious. But it's absolute. So we just passed the place over there. Alright, day two here in Nashville. I'm beat up, my body's sore right now, I don't know why. But woke up to some cardio. It's a little different than normal. I was walking outside, but it's very hilly here, so it's up and down hills, and I was actually like dead out of breath. My quads were getting a little pumped, so it felt like kind of nice to be outside in the cool, brisk air. Florida heat is just so humid and so brutal. It's actually like nice and dry, and it was cool in the morning. It's warming up a little bit now, so very chill. But we're gonna walk around downtown a little bit, I think. Try and find a place for the guys to eat breakfast. I brought my. Uh, potato and turkey with me. I usually have pancakes in the morning, but you know what? Sacrifice on the road because I can't make pancakes everywhere I go. So I'm gonna figure out where we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna have a little meeting, a little lift, a little event, a little sleep, and then finally go back home because I hate leaving my house.
Should I get one? Yep. I don't think Poppy would like him very much. Probably, He'd probably try and fight him. I bet you Poppy would win in the fight too. He'd, he'd get scared. Should have tanked. You're a legend. Let me get a quick redo. Let me get a quick redo. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I like the hat too. What's going on, man? Nice to meet you. Sorry. Good. Yo, can I shake your hand, bro? What's going on? No hiding now here. What was that? What? What was that? <laughs> That's what happens when you're hiding in a back room for too long. They're all waiting to harass me outside. But got some quick picks. Sadly, there's too many people here not doing it. Sad, not, kind of not sadly for me. But we're just doing a Q&A over here so people are trying to sneak their pictures in. But we're finally headed over to do the main event, the grand opening of the gym and the Q&A. So time to get ready. You guys know I absolutely hate being in crowds and I hate public speaking. So this is not my forte, but it is what it is. I'm trying to get better at it and it's what we're doing today. So hopefully it's a good time. Oh wow, the system's are you gonna call us, you can call yeah. us all the way. Okay, so Jim is on the number on Instagram, so if you can, everybody look that way right now. One, two, three. Peace. Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> wow, he did a good job. <laughs> My name wrong. Ten bucks. He says just see bum. See bum or Chris bum. Just see bum. I'll give you ten bucks. He says Chris bum said. All right, we got three-time class Olympian champion who has transformed, I think, the fitness industry into something crazy that we've never seen before. But the best part, just one cool ass dude, Chris bum. starting working with them on the CBUM and RAW line and uh, it's put us together. And the one thing that I like is I think um, it's a partnership and it's like-minded people. You know, we kind of aspire to be more. The gym is more than a gym and it's all about culture. It kind of fits with what these guys have done and have turned around, I think, the sports supplement industry to kind of a higher standard. So we're honored to have them here, pretty excited. With that, we want to get started. Your biggest opponent is in this next Olympia? No one. <laughs> Five or two to five, but no one's coming first except me. But I, I really think that I think I trained with Urs like um, two weeks ago, I think, and he's put on like 20 pounds. Like he looks crazy. He was 12 pounds under his weight limit last year, so I think he's gonna come and shock people. And he's a really good kid too. He's got a crazy physique. He's really young, so I think he's gonna creep up and look really good. Maybe shake some of like second place, third place, or something. But yeah, so. I just think keep an eye on him, but people are fighting for second right now. yourself as best as you can and like that is a very simple thing but to really like engrave that in your brain constantly to like you know live for yourself and who you are and what makes you happy not for anybody else is a very difficult thing and very important thing to learn and I also think it's what has led me to be 
pretty successful on social media is the fact that I'm like, I just try to be myself. I'm not trying to be anyone I'm not. I'm not just trying to bullshit or be someone special or something cool, tough, whatever person. I'm just trying to be authentic. I think people can pick up on that. And not only that, but it has led me to build a lot of beautiful, real relationships in my life. It led me to meet some amazing people, such as the people I'm up here on stage today. And, you know, like, there's nothing more important than that in life. The relationships you have and, like, feeling good with yourself going forward is just, like, all you need in life. So, focusing on that as best you can and living that every day is very important. What is your greatest accomplishment in life? I got engaged a few weeks ago. But I mean, that's like, that's something a lot of people like expect to do in their life regardless, but it was more of a beautiful moment than I thought. And our relationship hasn't been easy, you know, it hasn't just been like, oh, we fell in love, it's been perfect, it's been a rocky road, and we've had to learn a lot, a lot about myself, you know, I thought I was a lot more perfect than I am, clearly, and you know, she, she quickly taught me a lot to learn, and like, likewise her, but, it's been, we've grown a lot together, and I'm very appreciative and honestly proud of the relationship we've built, and it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever accomplished, so. Um, I made the recent decision where, like, I wanted to change going to the gym from being just a hobby to potentially being a career set. Um, right now I'm in college, I'm an animation major, doing all this stuff, and I'm doing fairly well at it, I think. Um, but I really want to take that step, I want to take that risk and just try bodybuilding. I'm going into my first competition this upcoming year, and whenever I made that announcement to like my friends, my family, stuff like that, um, a lot of people are just like, are you serious? Like, this is what you want to do, you've already put all this effort into all these other things, why are you taking this time now, taking this risk, why are you throwing your life away? My question really is, is like, have you had to deal with something like that? This is up to all three of y'all, I guess. Um, but like, what, what encouragement would you do there? What are the things that you had to do when people, just like friends and family, like just looked at you and doubted you? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say prove them wrong. I would say prove yourself right. You know, like if someone thinks it's a bad decision, it probably is. Like, if you look at you like, oh, no. it is, you know? It, but I'm not saying it's wrong. It's definitely not. It might be the most best decision you made of your life. You know you need to make it. But if it is the decision that you are going to make, Sometimes the decision you make isn't important, as important as pick, making a decision and sticking to it, and giving absolutely you everything, everything you have into it. So you know, if you show passion, love, drive, and you put everything you have into that, people are going to start to see that, and start to see success from it, and start to see that making you a better person. You will change your mind and you'll be proving yourself right rather than being wrong. And if you're doing it for yourself at least today, then that's all. I like to think I have a pretty positive impact on the community around me. You know, what I try to put out there isn't being someone chasing money, trying to party, get girls, all that. I really try and drive success, not only being all that, but on, like I keep mentioning, becoming a better person, focusing on that champion mentality and growing inside of the man. And now I'm saying giving back to that community. And all these three things that kind of come together are something that, you know, I reflect a lot on, a lot more lately, especially when I don't know how long of my career I'll, I'll have left. And I'm starting to really see the impact that I have. It's a lot more of a responsibility than just, you know, go to, go to the gym and lift weights. And when I hear people coming up to me saying, I'm like, oh my God, man, like, what you have me with Courtney is like so inspiring. I hope you'll find a love like that. You know, the way you are like so authentic to yourself, the way you laugh at your own list. You know, you made a free workout on the t-shirts, all this shit, I'm having a speech impediment. That really makes me really not care about how I talk. That makes me, like, you know, I, I would chase a girl, but now I want to, like, you know, become a better person so I can find love. And focus on and I really think when I hear that shit, that happens, that's what drives me to fire me up. And I know I'm kind of motivating, inspiring people to become better versions of themselves and better kind of members of society, I guess you could say. So that's that's really what kind of keeps me driving and keeps me pushing forward right now, is focusing on the benefit and the impact I have in those categories. And you know, I hope some of you guys can take something from that and understand that you know life is a lot more about big muscles, fast cars, and a lot of money. But they're still, they're still very nice to have, but it's a lot more than that. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I love you guys so much. You're truly the reason that you know, I get to live the life that I live. And I'm grateful every day. And it makes me emotional to think about how beautiful my life is. So, thank you guys.
right guys, it's gonna be a wrap on our Nashville trip. I don't think we're doing any, anything tomorrow other than flying out, but it was a good time. You know, we were very productive, had some meetings, got some new products, some new flavors coming in from Armada. Uh, got the gym, checked it out, got a few workouts in, and obviously finished with that event, that Q&A. And I mean, for me in prep six weeks out, that was so much better for like not breaking my knees, I'm not tired. It sucks the life out of you having to meet a thousand people. And it sucks sometimes, you know, I tried to take pictures with a bunch of people, but I just can't do that all the time. So I think this kind of method of having a Q&A and stuff is, I hopefully they enjoyed it and it was good for everyone, but it was, you know, lots of good questions. Hopefully give some good responses. I'm slowly getting better at public speaking, just more practice, I'll get better. Maybe we'll do more events like this in the future and kind of just that kind of style where you guys can just hang out and ask questions and, you know, give you a pre-workout or something in the process. But yeah, that's what's going on. So we're gonna shower. Hani said I can eat tonight, so I'm gonna be going to get some food. Maybe a steak or some sushi. I don't know where we're going yet, but I'm excited for some real good food. And yeah, it's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching. If any of you guys watching came up to the event, I appreciate you guys for coming out. Yeah, comment down below if it's something you think you'd be interested in. If, like if we can't do a meet and greet style thing for like eight hours standing in line, if we can do one of these, would you rather that or would you rather us not do it at all? I mean, uh, kind of a stupid question. But just let me know in the comments below if you think this whole Q&A style rather than meet and greet is a good idea or if all you guys want is a bunch of selfies. I think there's more information out of this, more but... Value. Some more value for sure, but I mean, that's me. You guys, are, you guys are what matters. So let me know down below what you guys think, what you guys want from us. Obviously, no more events for the rest of the year because the Olympia is coming. That's what my priorities. But we're planning planning a lot for next year. So let me know. Thank you guys for watching.